on an acoustic guitar, the kerfing reinforces the thin sides of the guitar. Here, I'm using Carbide Create to draw out the kerfing, and then I will cut it out on my Shapoko machine. In the project setup, I have a 36 by 4 piece of wood that's a half inch thick, and this is going to be um, the rough dimensions for the kerfing. So next I can go ahead and put two lines across the length of the board. These are going to represent the angled pieces of the kerfing. Next I draw a series of perpendicular lines every half inch. These represent the kerfs and this is what allows you to be able to bend these linings uh, to conform to the shape of the sides of the guitar. And with a little cutting and pasting, we have lines now that go the full length of the board. Moving to the Toolpaths tab, you can see I have two cuts that I'm going to make. The first cut is going to use a 60 degree V bit, and that's going to go across the two lines, um, the full 36 inches of the board. This is what's going to leave a angle at the bottom of the kerfing. The other tool path that I have is going to be using an eighth inch end mill, which is going to cut all the kerfs through the board. This is going to take a considerable amount of time because not only does it need to go um, a considerable number of lines, but it also has to go almost all the way through the entire board. When you run the simulation, you can now see um, the beginning of, of what I'm trying to do here. You can see the V-bit has cut in those lines, the kerfs go all the way across, and after this is done from the CNC machine, I can use my table saw to cut this into four kerfing strips. Now I can take the CNC part and cut it down the middle. This will give me two identical strips, which then I will cut again in half. And this is going to go through the angled portion, which is going to give me four pieces where one side of the kerfing is squared and the other side has a 30 degree angle on it. And here's the end result. If you look at the rightmost one, you can see the uh, 30 degree angle on the kerfing. That's really just for decoration, uh, but it's the cuts that go across the wood that helps it to be bendy. And with that, that's the kerfing I'm going to use on my acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm.